For me, when I look at you, I see testimony, I see freedom. I'm not here to say sorry, I'm here to, say, to pray for you to be free. I came to you with a show sheet. I to Pamba you so that I said, oh, what happened? Sorry, sorry, sorry. No. I can walk on now. I can walk on I can walk on my own. I can walk on my own. With Jesus Christ. With Jesus Christ. I can walk. I can walk. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Sit up. Sit on your feet. Mm -hmm. Just got to touch you. Walk. So walk. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Dinarange ame Petrina Nekuta Ndaja Konanjaba Kokalongo her name is Petrina Nekuta from Onanjaba, Okalongo area. Oh, Ondala Kupandula Kalunga. She wants to thank God. Eshia Ningrange Oikum Salonga. For the great work he has done for her. Okupitila Mumpiawae, Apostle Shombe. Through his servant, Apostle S. S. Shombe. Yeah. Oh, Mama, if you wish, you will go to August or July or New Do. Then, on the 30th of August this year, on the penduka olutulange la sombinga. And she woke up one of the morning, her body paralyzed. Oh, on the paro koshpangelo diva diva mendelelo. And she was taken to hospital. She was taken to Medipak in Ongwediva. And she So they have used all the machines they could have or they have, but they did not find any cause or any problem in her. Then uh, thereafter she was transferred to Ondangwa Private. And she has been hospitalized for two weeks. And as she has been in the hospital, she was given the aid of this thing you can see before her. Oh, Though she was given those, uh, that walker 
to aid her walking. She could not use it. She needs the help of the nurses so that she can go wherever she wants to go. Then thereafter she was sent home. So even the day she was discharged from hospital, she was carried. She could not walk by herself. So she had been using the aid of walking, but she could she still need the help of other people. She could not do anything, neither holding a soap to wash her hand. Oh, then she met one of her friends who congregated in this house. Then she was told that I will take you to the minister of Apostle Shombe. Then yesterday on 28th of September they reached this house. Then she was opened to be the man of God to approach to her. So the very thing he told her is that he wants her to open her heart. Yeah, he told her to forgive them, then to forget. He was also told to forsake grudges and also jealousy. What happened? When the man of God came to pray for you. So when the man of God came to me and he spoke to me, I was in a great pain. But I just felt a fine spirit, a fine spirit that is uh, blowing over my body. Then he instructed me to raise and walk. So then he stepped on my clock that uh, that I used to wear. And I was able to stand, then I started walking. So when I stand, I did not struggle. Hallelujah. Your hands louder for our Lord Jesus Christ. Madam, you want to tell us that just instantly after prayers from the servant of God, you start walking by yourself? Uh, can you hear that? Instant prayer, she started walking, running, as well as jumping. Madam, how did this situation affect your day-to-day -day work and your career? Mm -hmm. 
So this life was so difficult and I was just a paralyzed as a crippled person. I could not do anything in the house. Because she's a teacher by profession, she has been home for a month without going to work. So the first leave lapsed, then I, it was also given another leave. Yeah. So, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together louder for Jesus Christ. Thank God Almighty. At Pandora Karungon Nangono. Because he's able. He's alone a God, and he don't need a man to be the God who he is. Yes. No, we just wanted to see or to demonstrate to us how you have been walking all those days, even yesterday when you came to church. Your hands are not louder for the Lord Jesus Christ. That was just a demonstration of how it was. The paralysis, the paralysis that made her bed ridden for a whole month. But Jesus, in an instant moment, took it away. You can now see how he took what he has been using on the shoulders. We cannot hear your joy. Hallelujah. Amen. God Almighty is so good. Do you still want to use the walker as na, you are leaving this place? Oh, hi. She's no longer need the aid of a walker because he's set free. Hallelujah, and we believe that tomorrow the children at school are blessed, they will see their teacher. So for those that are watching, oh, uh, oh, watching you right now all over the world, what are your words of encouragement and to the people that are watching you here as well? Oh, uh, she is telling those who are watching her that the time is today to open your heart. To open our heart so that God will be able to enter into our heart through his servant, Apostle Shombe. <laughs>